Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, as you can see, we have been given the circuit based on the op -amp. So here, this VS1 and the VS2 are the input to the op -amp circuit. And here, we have been asked to find the average value of the output voltage. So in the question, we have been given that the given op -amp are the ideal op -amps. So since the op -amp are the ideal op -amps, so no current is flowing into the op -amp terminals. And therefore, through all these three resistors, the same current will flow. So let's say the current through all these three resistors is equal to I. So here, let's say the voltage at this node is equal to V1, while the voltage at this node is equal to V2. So here, because of the negative feedback in the op -amp circuit, the voltage at the inverting terminal of the op -amp will be same as the non-inverting terminal. Therefore, over here, this V plus is same as the V minus. That means here, this V1 is same as the Vs1, while the V2 is same as the Vs2. That means let us replace this V1 and V2 with the Vs1 and the Vs2. Apart from that, let's say the output of this first op -amp is equal to Vo1, while the output of the second op -amp is equal to Vo2. So here, to find this output voltage, first of all, we should know this voltage Vo1 and the Vo2. And once we know this voltage Vo1 and the Vo2, then with the help of the superposition theorem, we can easily find the output voltage. So for that, first of all, let us find this voltage Vo1 and the Vo2. So here, we have assumed that the current through all these three resistors is equal to I. So because of the flow of this current, there will be a voltage drop across all these resistors. So here, using these two nodes, we can say that this current I is equal to Vo1 minus Vs1 divided by R. Or from this, we can say that this voltage Vo1 is equal to I times R plus Vs1. So here, basically we need to find the value of the voltage Vo1 and the Vo2 in terms of the voltage is Vs1 and the Vs2. So here, if we see these two nodes, then the voltage at these two nodes is equal to Vs1 and the Vs2. So if we apply the KVL between these two nodes, then we can say that this current I is equal to Vs1 minus Vs2 divided by R. So let's say this is the equation number 1. So now we can put the value of this current I in the above expression. So we can say that this voltage Vo1 is equal to R times this Vs1 minus Vs2 divided by R plus Vs1. Or further if we simplify it, then we can say that this voltage Vo1 is equal to 2 times Vs1 minus Vs2. And let's say this is the equation number 2. So in this way, we got the value of the Vo1 in terms of the Vs1 and the Vs2. So similarly, now let us find the output voltage Vo2 in terms of the Vs1 and the Vs2. So for that, let us apply the KVL between these two nodes. So applying the KVL between these two nodes, we can say that this voltage Vs2 is equal to I times R plus Vo2. Or from this, we can say that this output voltage Vo2 is equal to Vs2 minus IR. And earlier, we have already found the expression of the I in terms of the Vs1 and the Vs2. So further, we can write this expression as this Vs2 minus this Vs1 minus Vs2 divided by R times R. So basically over here, we have put the value of this current I. So if we further simplify it, then we can write this expression as this Vo2 is equal to Vs2 minus Vs1 plus Vs2. Or we can say that this voltage Vo2 is equal to 2 times Vs2 minus Vs1. And let's say this is the equation number 3. So in this way, we got the value of the Vo1 and the Vo2 in terms of the voltages Vs1 and the Vs2. So now, let us find this output voltage Vo from this Vo1 and the Vo2. So like I said earlier, using the superposition theorem, we can easily find this output voltage V out. So initially, let us assume that this Vo2 is equal to 0 and this voltage Vo1 is acting alone. That means this node will be at the ground potential. So in that case, with the help of the voltage divider rule, we can say that this output voltage V out 
is equal to r divided by r plus r times vo1 and let's say this output voltage is equal to vo dash similarly in the second case let us assume that this output voltage vo1 is equal to 0 and this voltage vo2 is acting alone so in that case let's say the output voltage is equal to vo double dash and once again with the help of the voltage divider rule this voltage vo double dash is equal to r divided by r plus r times vo2 that means the overall output voltage will be the summation of these two voltages that means the output voltage v out is equal to vo dash plus vo double dash and that is equal to r divided by r plus r times vo1 plus r divided by r plus r times vo2 or basically that is equal to vo1 plus vo2 divided by 2 now earlier we have already find the value of the voltage vo1 and the vo2 in terms of the vs1 and the vs2 so we have seen that this vo1 is equal to 2 times vs1 minus vs2 while the vo2 is equal to 2 times vs2 minus vs1 and just we have seen that this output voltage v out is equal to vo1 plus vo2 divided by 2 so now in this expression if we put the value of the vo1 and the vo2 then we can write this expression as this 2 times vs1 minus vs2 plus 2 times vs2 minus vs1 divided by 2 or that is equal to this vs1 plus vs2 divided by 2 so in this way we got the output voltage v out in terms of the input voltage is vs1 and the vs2 so now let us put the value of the voltage is vs1 and the vs2 in the given expression so in the question we have been given that this vs1 is equal to 3 plus 0.1 times sin 300 t while the vs2 is equal to minus 2 plus 0.11 times sin 300 t volt so if we put these two values then the output voltage v out is equal to 3 plus 0.1 times sin 300 t plus minus 2 plus 0.11 times sin 300 t and we need to divide this expression by 2 so further we can say that this output voltage v out is equal to 1 divided by 2 plus 0.21 times this sin 300 t divided by 2 so this will be the expression of the output voltage now here we have been asked to find the average value of this output voltage now you know that the average value of the sine wave is equal to 0 therefore if we take the average value of this term then that will be equal to 0 that means overall if we see the average value of the output voltage then that is equal to 1 by 2 so we can say that this vo average is equal to 1 by 2 or that is equal to 0.5 volt so from this we can say that for the given circuit the average value of the output voltage is equal to 0.5 volt